Hey everyone, welcome to Thinking of Pi. Today, we'll be taking a look at photoresistors. Photoresistors vary in resistance based on the amount of light they get. More light means more resistance, less light means less resistance. We can then measure the voltage crossing the photoresistor and use that information to do things. I'll be using that information to vary the brightness of an LED. Let's go take a look at it. You'll notice that this circuit is set up very similar to the last couple of projects with potentiometers. Only difference here is I've swapped out the potentiometers for this guy right here, our photoresistor. We've got these two wires over here that will supply our voltage. There's a 10 kilo ohm resistor right here that prevents the photoresistor from starting on fire. And then we've got this white wire right here that's connected to pin zero on the PCF. That will allow us to read the voltage crossing the photoresistor. Then I've got this red LED right here, which is connected to GPIO 17 over here. So let's head over to the computer and I'll show you how it works. All right, so you'll notice that this code looks very similar compared to the last couple of projects. I'm not gonna get into detail about the stuff at the top here. Um, if you're not sure how to set that up or what this means, please refer to my previous video on converting analog and digital. We do have LED right here, defined as being on pin 11. We'll talk about that in a second. And we do have our time function, which will be needed here as well. We've got our analog read, our analog write. Um, right here in the setup, we want to make sure that we're using the GPIO board layout. And then we're setting the LED pin as an output. And then we're going to be using PWM on that LED here. And then make sure that we're reading on pin zero for the PCF. So what we'll be doing is reading the analog value of the photoresistor and then changing the duty cycle of the LED based on the value that we get from the photoresistor. And then we'll be outputting the data and the voltage value down here. So let's run this. Right now, everything's at zero. We've got plenty of light. But if I cover the photoresistor with my finger, you'll see it light up a little bit there. You'll see the values change. It is really sensitive, so even the slightest amount of light is going to register. But you'll notice that as it's even partially covered, you'll get a dimmer, a little bit more covered. It's brighter. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to. Now, you'll notice that it flickers a little bit. And that's because we have our sleep function right in here. And if you've seen the video on debouncing a push button, it's kind of the same thing here. We need to clean up that signal a little bit. Otherwise, the LED is going to get stuck on or stuck off. And it's kind of a pain. But not a lot to it. Pretty simple. Photoresistors can be used um, specifically in my mind is with a home automation system. If you wanted to set it up to turn a lamp on, well, put a relay switch in there instead of an LED, and when it gets dark outside, it turns your lamp on. Be pretty neat, huh? Next week, I will be showing you a thermal resistor, and that varies with temperature, so that should be exciting. In the meantime, I'd love to read your comments. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more. I'll talk to you all next week. Thanks.